Hi everyone, welcome back to the electrifying SOC interview questions sessions. We are back with thrilling quest to master the art of cybersecurity. We are here as your guiding light, leading you through the maze of today's captivating questions. So here are some questions for you guys. The very first one is, how would you approach a problem you have never seen before? See, here we will answer it like, you know, when encountering a problem I have never seen before, I would follow a systematic approach to effectively tackle it. Firstly, I would gather as much as relevant information as possible to understand the nature and the context of the problem, right? So this may involve consulting existing documentation, seeking input from colleagues or you know, your subject matter experts also, and then conducting thorough research. So once I have a clear understanding, I would break down the problem into smaller components to identify potential solutions. So brainstorming and collaborating with team members can be instrumental during this phase. Next, I would prioritize the potential solutions based on their feasibility, their impact and alignment with the organization's objective. So after selecting the most suitable approach, I would implement and monitor the solution, making adjustments as required or as needed. And lastly, I would document the entire process for future reference and learning. And like, you know, here the basically interview is trying to see, you know, like he's trying to assess the candidates problem solving skills, their adaptability and their ability to handle unfamiliar situations in the structured manner. So it helps the interviewer to understand the candidates approach to new challenges and their ability to learn and apply new informations effectively. Second question would be, can you describe a standard cybersecurity incident response process? Okay, this is a very common question which is generally asked. So standard cybersecurity incident response process, it typically follows a framework to effectively identify, respond to and recover from security incidents. So like, you know, one widely used framework is there which is NIST, a NIST incident response framework, which includes your four stages First is preparation. This phase basically will be involving setting up your computer security incident response team, CSIRT, defining roles and responsibilities, creating an incident response plan and conducting regular training and drills. Then second is detection and analysis. So during this phase or during this stage, your security incidents are detected through monitoring and analyzing of security alerts and events. So your CSIRT team, they investigate the incident to understand their scope and impact. Third one is containment, eradication and recovery. So in this phase, the CSIRT, it takes step to contain the incident, prevent further damage, eradicate the threat and restore affected systems and services to normal operations. Last one is post incident activity. After receiving the incident, the CSRT conducts a post incident analyst to identify lesson learned improve the incident response plan and implement measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. So example would be like, suppose an organization that detects unusual network traffic or network traffic patterns indicating a potential data breach. So CSIRT, they, we can say promptly initiate the incident response process. They identify and isolate the affected system, analyze the breach to determine the extent and work on recovering the compromised data. After resolving the incident, the team conducts a comprehensive review to identify vulnerabilities and implement additional security measures. Okay. Here you can say the purpose interview is trying to see like, you know, they're trying to evaluate the candidates knowledge on a structured incident response process and their understanding of how to handle security incidents effectively. So interview wants to assess the candidates familiarity with industry standard frameworks and their ability to articulate the incident response processes. And the last one is, can you explain the difference between true positive, false positive, true negative and false negative? Here the answer would be like, you know, in the context of cyber security and incident response, these terms basically they are related to the accuracy of security detection system. When you talk about true positive, a true positive occurs when a security system correctly identifies a genuine security threat or incident. So in other words, if you, you can say the system correctly detects a real threat, it is giving us an alert for that. In reality, there is an attack going on. False positive would be, it happens when there is no attack happening, but our system are just giving us an alert that, okay, there is an attack going on. Okay, it's just a false alarm or false alarm situation where no actual threat is present.
two negative you talk about two negative occurs when a you know security system they correctly determines that no threat or incident is present and your system correctly classifies the activity as non malicious false negative you talk about the last one false negative occurs when a system a security system fails to detect a genuine security threat or incident it's a missed detection where an actual threat goes undetected right here your interview is trying to see to like in they are assessing the candidates understanding of key concepts which are related to security detection and is in hand so interview they wants to determine the candidates you know how to comprehend the significance of accuracy in security systems and they can differentiate between various detection outcomes also so you can basically these answers which we have just discussed you can explain them more and can give your more depth into the explanations or to these answers as per experience and knowledge but always remember during an interview you know explain that much only that is required or asked so thanks and if you like such questions kindly drop your comments and feedback we'd love to improvise thank you